Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're gonna look at 11 supercontinent seeds. A supercontinent seed is something like this. Or this. Or this. They're seeds that have continents that are so big, they have almost every single boss. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you the coolest seed. It was shared by Thanalus like two years ago, but it's still awesome. Here's the first supercontinent seed that we'll look at. I found this seed in the Steam forums from this post by NeuroPerson. And this seed is pretty good, but what makes it really special is that it has this swamp, which is really close to the initial spawn, and this swamp is packed with crypts. I'm going to show you one later in the video that has even more, but really, at this point, do you even need more? <laughs> Perks of this seed include the fact that Haldor and Hildur are both on the starting continent. You also have a good-sized mountain here and the plains, making this supercontinent very diverse. Next, we have a comment by BC Gambit on one of my seed hunting videos. This seed name is Odin's Bulls with a capital O. We gotta show our respect to Odin. At first, I was like, all right, how good could a seed called Odin's Bulls actually be? But then when I looked at it, oof, I see why he likes it. And you can see that the spawn for this is actually almost on its own little island, which is pretty cool. And then to the south, we have Motor, the Elder, Hildur, and Haldor on this island close by. And to the north, we have Bone Mass, Haldor, Hildur, the Elder, Yugluth, and a bunch of Mislins. This is a great supercontinent. Look at that. What stretch. Really impressive. Next, I found this awesome Steam post by somebody who really loved the seed. Now, it's also a supercontinent, as you can see. And you can see that this part of the continent goes all the way north, has mislands, plains, mountains, all sorts of stuff. What I think is really cool about this seed is sort of the starting area. If you actually look at it in game, it's got all these rivers everywhere, and you start right next to this lake, and it's just really beautiful. And that's sort of the reason that this guy liked it so much. So check it out. And speaking of rivers, I gotta say, I would have put this as the best seed to tease you with at the end of the video if it just had a bigger swamp. But the thing that this has going for it is this wicked river. And thanks so much MGBlast669 because you're the one who showed me this seed. And you didn't even talk about the river, man. Have you seen this thing? This is the most badass river I've ever seen in a Valheim seed. I mean, look at it. The spawn's here. Cool lake, right? And then boom, a river. Oh, okay, okay, kind of cool. River keeps going, follow the coastline. River keeps going, follow the coastline. River keeps going through the fucking plains. And then that, uh, that is just what a stretch. And then this whole area, that would be so badass. It's so close to the spawn. It's the perfect river. If you like rivers, this seed is the seed for you. Not even considering the fact that there's Haldor and Hildur up here further up the river, and even Elder, Motor, and Bone Mass close by. I'm definitely going to try this seed out anytime I want to focus on a river. Another commenter, DXGE3623, shared this seed, and they were into it because of the double maypole. If you scroll all the way down here, We'll enable maypoles, and you can see that there is. There's a maypole pretty close to the spawn, and another one over here. I think maypoles are kind of overrated, to be honest, because let's be real. Let's be real. How much does one more minute of rested buff actually change the game? I mean, you can just keep a rested buff up all the time if you know how to do it, regardless of how long the duration is. I understand why maypoles are cool and people like them, but personally, you should look at how you're going to play and then pick a seed that will maximize the amount of fun you're going to have. Because that's the whole point, right? It's a game. And this seed is, is cool for so much more than just the maypoles. I mean, look at these boss splits. Elders right here. Another elder. Motor, Yugluth, Bone Mass. Like, they're so close in a line. That's so cool. And they even can go all the way up here. And then the queen is actually pretty close to the end of the Mislins portion of the supercontinent. So yeah, thanks for this seed. It's pretty badass. Maypoles and all. 
Now, the next seed is a little bit different. I saw this YouTube video about tiny islands, and then I went on a whole rabbit hole. And I looked at a bunch of different seeds that have a small island starting spot, but I picked this one because it's not just this small island. I mean, come on, this is a super continent video, right? This is a small island next to a really badass super continent. I mean, look at this here. You got a whole bunch of stuff to the north, but then to the south, I mean, look, Ether, Motor, Elder, Bone Mass, Eugluth, all smushed into this little portion here. And there's lots of rivers. You see rivers up there, over there. I love it. It just, it, it looks great. And the fact that it starts on an island, this might be great for you if you're interested in starting off the spawn on like a small central island. The next seed is another one that was found from a Reddit post about a year ago by Edward EDW. This seed, Amazing 280, is another supercontinent. Look at this, we have the queen all the way up north. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but this is a really large plains, and that's really nice because some seeds don't have any big plains and they don't have that many goblin camps. We can see that this is another seed with some really cool rivering action, right? You got your spawn, a cool lake here, motor super close to the beginning. So it's kind of cool how there's bone mass, elder, motor, Euglith, really all you need to get to the end game. And then there's the epic track to the queen. This looks like a fun seed to play on. The next seed I found from this comment by Eric from Abano. And it's N-O-O-O. -O -O. Simple. No. But this seed, oh, just, just look at this. Look at this. This is the spawn, right? This looks pretty normal. If it was just like this, that'd be pretty normal. But look at this supercontinent it's connected to. Here we go. Nothing too much, but keep going. And what is this nonsense right here? Do you see this? The elder spawn and the merchant. They're literally next to each other. What does that mean? I want to fight the Elder inside Haldur's bubble. That sounds insane. And then right after that, Bone Mass is right here. And then Motor. And then Yucliff. Like, really, if, this, if there was just Queen here, this seed, it would be like a Royal Flush or a Royal Straight Flush. Correct me in the comments. Whatever the rarest hand is in poker. This is just beautiful. It's such a nice supercontinent, has a lot of all the different biomes, and all the bosses are in a line. This would be a great contender for a long path. Next, I'll show you a couple seeds that I've found that I really enjoy. The first one is very fitting. It's just forest. And the reason this one is crazy is because it's just got these two huge chunks of forest. If I zoom out and disable all this stuff, you can see this. And see how big that is relative to all the other continents? It can be kind of hard to tell with the scale of these maps, but trust me, this is an enormous meadow. It's a fully complete meadow. And what do I say when I mean fully complete? You see this? The starting meadows have this interesting kind of star pattern that you can only see if you look at the actual biome layer. And so a complete meadow is when you have a big enough circle that the whole thing is there. This is literally as big as they get. And then just for comparison, you can see how huge this black forest is as well. But now I'll flip it back to how it is normally, and you can really get a sense for the scale of this particular seed. This is the strong point. If you ever want a huge black forest or a huge meadow, then this is a great seed for you. The next seed is one you guys obviously saw coming. I won't get too much into detail because oh, I talk about this seed a lot, but hear me out. It is home to multiple supercontinents. Here we have the spawn supercontinent, right? Where you have this area and all the way down here, Hildur, all of this. This is all part of the continent. And then there's all this stuff to the north, all the way up here. You got queen, bone mass spawns, all sorts of crazy nonsense, but that's not even the continent I love. The part of the seed I love is actually the fact that this landmass here, oh, which they're gonna change, but anyway, this landmass goes all the way from the Ashlands, here, past Queen, past Motor, over here, up here, and then there's this little gap, right? And then all the way over here, boom, deep north. So this seed has the possibility 
to make a path that connects the deep north to the Ashlands. And that's what I'm doing for my path to the Ashlands, no portal, no map playthrough, which is going to be available soon. If you want to learn more about that playthrough, then check out my post that I did a couple hours ago that shows the plan with one goal in mind. Put the path in the hardest possible place. And this is the seed that will be featured in that playthrough. So you'll get to know it pretty well. Let's get on to what you're really here for. The cream of the crop. This post shows the coolest seed I've ever seen. Let's get into it. All right, here it is. Wow, the word Pangea really does come to mind. Usually, to get a big continent in Valheim, you get these long, stretchy continents. It's really, really unusual to find big, thick chunks of land, like actual Pangeas. So this, with all of this chunkiness, it is so special. And not only that, but look what we have here. We have Motor, Elder, Bone Mass, Yugluth. I mean, that's most of the gameplay right there. But here's what you're really after. Watch this. This is the crowning moment. The thing that makes this seed so insane. Do you see this nonsense? There's almost 40 crypts here. I couldn't believe it at first, but it's true. And Yugluth is right there. It's just such a cool seed. Like, really, this is an awesome supercontinent. And all of that iron, I mean, that, that is really, really special. To have a supercontinent with almost every single boss and almost every biome, it's missing the Mislins and the Queen boss, right? But aside from that, I mean, this really ices the cake. This is the real deal right here. If you'd like to support my work, consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server using my link, JP Valheim. Comment below with your favorite seeds, and remember to like this video or any other video about Valheim so that YouTube knows that you like watching these kind of videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.